You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. All right, it'll be interesting to see how Neil Magny approaches the early portions of this round as we get it underway. This is one of the more accomplished UFC welterweights in the division's history. Has all the skills, really, you would want in a high-level mixed martial artist, but he does believe his length and his speed are going to be the primary factors in terms of getting his hand raised here tonight. Oh, right into mouth. Oh. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Meg. Back mount now. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Neil Meg. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Get on the side. Get on the side. Don't let him keep you flat. You gotta move. Don't be flat. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Lee's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Ground and pound strike there now. Watch on bar here. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Magni. On to the mount. Got to be careful here. Posture up, GMP. Mm, nice. Past the two-minute mark in round one. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Magni. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Magny's in half guard. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And there you go, again, half guard. Magny's back to the side control now. Let's go. We gotta he's got to be careful here. I love watching this guy move. Attempting a choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. One minute to go in the round. He's got to start throwing now. You know he's got bows. Beautiful elbow gets through. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, he's got his back. Now it's his mount. Under 20 seconds now to go. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. 
don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Ready, fight. Ready. Round two here. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He needs to try to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Nice job there by Neil Magny to get inside. He has the length, has a great frame for this welterweight division, and he is certainly off to a good start tonight. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Nice, great shot, great shot. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be in. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That is not Oh, that's big. Oh, thwack. That is a solid kick right there. He's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Magny. Now he's going full mount. Bottom fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, beating the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. That submission was tight. remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there great technique to set up the finish all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ he does a great job of staying patient the official decision is inside the octagon here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes Four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by a tap out due to an arm bar. The Haitian sensation, Neil Magny! So how about this Neil Magny cat? All he does is win. Forget the betting odds, throw those away. Forget the film breakdown. Magny just finds a way to win, finds a way to get his hand raised. Some have called him an overachiever. I'll just say he's a welterweight contender with about as much heart, desire, and upside as any in this division. Ready, fight. Ready. Good. All right, the not-so-silent assassin, Vicente Luque, back under the lights as this round gets underway. He has been on the cusp of contention before, nearly secured a title fight, but ran into Bilal Muhammad back in 2022. And now the focus on the Luque side for Daniel Evangelista and everybody else. Get back on the horse, prove that you're still a top-five guy, and they believe the knockout's going to materialize tonight. They just can't force it. Good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by me. Of punches from the top here by Means. Great submission defense. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, 
Close guard now. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts. That's exactly what you just got. That's a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Misses with the right hand. That's a the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Back and forth we go. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Gaze trying for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Trying to choke is locked in. Oh, he got out. Means ground and pound from half guard now. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because... He is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. Luque's going for a choke here. That dark choke is tight. Oh, how on God's green earth did he get out? Nice transition. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. Yeah. It's work. I'm going to stand this up. Means is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, somehow he gets out fantastic. Submission D. And now he's attempting to choke. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh my goodness, he's getting tight. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that dark choke. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Luke. Another ground and pound strike lands. Round one winding down here. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Single collar tie there. Guillotine jump. Oh, gotta protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. He's out. What's the mission defense on this play? All right, feet on the hips here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. 
Sometimes he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's awesome. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Respect his ability to escape, and he showed how well versed he is in submission defense. That was a slick transition. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. That Dos choke is tight. Oh, that has got to be it. And there's the choke! Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call a shot is always fun. He should be very proud. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes. Four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a dust choke, Vincente, the silent assassin, Lupe. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.